iPhone 13 release date, price, specs, and leaks. iPhone 13 release date. If the iPhone 13 release date follows Apple's pattern for previous launches, we could see this device hit shelves on the fourth Friday of September 2021. That would be September 24th. But then of course the iPhone 12's unveiling slid to October 13th this year, and the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max won't even ship until November. It's likely coronavirus has delayed the development of the iPhone 13 too, which would have an effect on the eventual release date. But at this point it's too early to tell. iPhone 13 design, could it be portless? Imagine if the iPhone 12 was the last generation of Apple handsets to feature a physical charging port in every model. It's a shocking thought, but Apple could begin phasing out lightning ports starting with one of the iPhone 13 models and USB Type-C won't be there to replace it. Instead, a tweet from tipster John Prosser spells it out clear as day, there will be one port-free iPhone in 2021, he says, and eventually, they'll all go that way. Never USB-C, Prosser adds, killing some enthusiasts hopes that Apple would adopt the same standard as Android phones and the vast majority of other modern consumer electronics. The idea of a portless iPhone may sound a bit ridiculous, but ironically, it's become likelier ever since the European Union made moves to force all phone manufacturers to use a common port for charging. Lightning has been the company's go-to since 2012, when it was introduced alongside the iPhone 5. Rather than engineering future iPhones to work with the same interface as all Android phones at which point, Apple would stand to miss out on the very lucrative market of accessory licensing that it's always enjoyed reason suggests that the company would rather ditch ports entirely, and turn to Qi induction as its common charging solution. Qi is, of course, the wireless charging framework shared by all smartphones releasing today. With the iPhone 12, Apple has introduced MagSafe for more convenient wireless charging. It's also raised the peak wireless charging speed to 15 watts. MagSafe would appear to be the logical evolution for future iPhones without ports, and also enable a wealth of customization options and new potential use cases. But what else could a port-free iPhone allow? Theoretically, eliminating the device's largest ingress point would improve durability and water resistance. It could also assist in making handsets thinner down the line, though given the rapidly accelerating size of batteries across the industry and the advent of especially energy-hungry 5G networks, it's also possible that iPhones in 2021 will be larger and perhaps thicker than those on sale today. iPhone 13 notch and true depth camera. It was rumored in the early part of 2020 that the iPhone's iconic notch, which dates back to 2017's iPhone X, could be reduced into a narrower and more slender form for the iPhone 12. That obviously didn't come to pass, and it's said that Apple supposedly experimented with ditching the notch entirely for its latest handsets before ultimately tabling the design. Bearing that in mind, it's possible Apple could introduce that change for the iPhone 13. Last fall, Leaker Vangaskin published a render on Twitter detailing how the system could work, by embedding the entirety of the true depth system and earpiece inside the handset's top bezel. Considering how Apple has taken a more gradual, iterative approach to design in recent years, the company could conceivably introduce a more experimental model in 2021 think no ports, but also no notch, either along the lines of the original iPhone X of course, this is just speculation. iPhone 13 Touch ID, will it make a comeback? Apple has never before released an iPhone with both Face ID and Touch ID, though that could change for the iPhone 13. In fact, a rumor far back as August 2019 from analyst Ming Chikuo claimed Apple was looking into adding an in-screen fingerprint sensor to its 2021 devices, and that the company viewed both biometric technologies as complementary, with potential to work well together. Given that the current version of Face ID can't recognize people with masks, and Apple changed iOS to better accommodate users with face masks, we suspect that the company has to at least be thinking about how to bring back Touch ID in a sleeker way. A patent unearthed by Apple Insider sheds light on how Cupertino might be able to pull that off, with a sophisticated in-display system that uses an array of micro lenses to focus lenses on a subject's fingerprint. Theoretically, this would improve readability that is typically diminished by screen translucency. One leaker named Gioraku on Twitter claims to have seen an early prototype of the iPhone 13. The new model is described as basically a 12 with extra steps, and he claims that the new phone doesn't feature in-display touch it at the moment. Apple could go another route, though. The latest iPad Air 4 embeds a fingerprint scanner in the side-mounted power button. This is a tactic we've seen used in many Android devices over the years, and could also present an ideal way to add fingerprint recognition back into future top-line iPhones. iPhone 13 specs, 5G and more. Documentation of Apple's settlement with Qualcomm reveals that Apple has plans to use Qualcomm's X65G modem in upcoming iPhones, which will likely include the iPhone 13. This is important because the 5 nanometer X60 modem can integrate directly into a Phone S chipset, meaning a smaller footprint and lower battery drain. Plus, the 5G performance should be better, 
as the modem can combine M-Wave and Sub-6GHZ 5G network simultaneously. In July of 2019, Apple purchased Intel's modem business for $1 billion. It was the only reasonable course of action for Cupertino, which had been in and out of court with Qualcomm for years over patent disputes that left certain iPhone models at a noticeable networking disadvantage compared to contemporary Android phones. Apple and Qualcomm eventually made up, but it's clear that the iPhone maker wants to control its own destiny rather than be beholden to a supplier with which it has a tenuous relationship at best. By the time the iPhone 13 releases, that team will have been working under Apple leadership for nearly two and a half years, making 2021 the absolute earliest it could launch its first handsets with its own modem on board. That said, 2021 would really be pushing it, as Fast Company pointed out in the fall. Modems take a long time to develop, and undergo a lengthy certification process. It would appear that 2022 would make for a safer bet, though the source Fast Company cited believes 2023 is actually a more realistic time frame. A DG Times report that broke in September hints that the iPhone 13 could adopt liquid crystal polymer circuit boards for imaging purposes, resulting in faster data transmission. The addition of LCP boards, coupled with 5G connectivity, has the potential to accelerate applications like live streaming or augmented reality.